Hi Gemini, welcome to Tarot Start Tarot by Kachitopa. Do your reading from the 18th through the 28th of February 2023. Keep in mind, Gemini, this is a general reading, probably what not resonate for all of you, of course. But if you do like my channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you want. I would be very thankful and grateful to support my channel. If you want to have a prayer reading with me, you'll find all the information in my description box below. How you can reach out for a prayer reading, and I'll jump in and see what's going on for you guys. My love team, please give me for my Gemini what Gemini need to know. Intuition number two and deception and envy. Someone, something here, your core, your intuition is telling that someone is jealous and somehow deceptive. Uh, I don't know why you're picking up here, almost like, let me talk, let me talk, let me, let me talk about Gemini, let me, I'm not happy what I see, something like that, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy what I see. Seven and two, nine, this is master number, could be also that you were born, born on nine, on the ninth. Give me please, message. Southern wealth, yeah, because you're doing more than fine. And the lovers, you, 15, Gemini energy. And marriage on the knees. Someone here is, I feel, is not, ha uh, how you call that, is not happy about your stability in general, Gemini, at all. Um, could be that you are moving on, you found someone else, or you're dating someone else. Could be also very wealth, or you're very wealthy. Regardless, um, your intuition is telling you something. The something is behind the scene. Could be someone that you were married with in. Of course, it could be also that you're still with this marriage, with this partnership, with this um, romantic person, and someone else is jealous. There could be also. Like you have everything, you have love, you have wealthy, you have a beautiful home, child, you know, perfect, like, like a fairy tale. Um, and someone is envy there, it's jealous, I don't know, either or, let's see. Uh, recent past, the eight of swords. Strength. Four of wands. Two of Cups and the Three of Swords, yeah. It's almost like we never can have peace on this relationship. Like more we, we love each other and more we have uh, count with consequences or count with uh, interference. Uh, yeah, it's, it's sad because it's like, oh, where I should go then with my person? Where I should go? I don't know, I could be here that you guys are or uh, still in a partnership, Gemini. I think interference beside this connection. On the recent past with the Eight of Swords, um, overthinking a lot, overthinking a lot here. F or trying to find solution or resolution that could be also finding some answer. Strength, like no one can touch my relationship or I'm strong enough, I protect my relationship like a lion, there could be also. Four of Wands is a peace. Um, you will have your peace, Gemini. I think you will really have your peace. Of course, it could be also in the past, it didn't work between you and them. It could be also the steel is not working so to the extreme. But love is there, is there is disappointed. But I think all you or them, Gemini, you know that this is something to work because some interference. I don't think it's about because you guys. I don't think so. Of course, you guys have to take the responsibility when something isn't working or interference is try to want to come in into your um, relationship. Of course, you have to be protective. Not let it come everyone into your relationship. No almost not any one two of cups and the three of swords two of cups again the hermit and the judgment stopping to uh, the, uh, sabotaging yourself sabotaging this connection because you're saying when we are alone we are the most um, happiest couple on this earth 
the soon as we are not alone, everything, the fairy tale, it's gone. Ten of cups underneath. Uh, you know what it's about, Gemini. I don't know about them, of course, but I think that you know what it's about, so it's an, it's an alignment here. It's a judgment call. You, say, you know what is the issue here. And that's why it's, uh, it's probably double um, difficult to de deal with because you know what it's about. It's not about them. It's not about you person. It's about the situation um, around you guys. Give me the Eight of Swords. Queen of Wands, Four of Swords, yeah, the Queen of Cups. Someone here, I don't know who was, this person could be sibling, I don't know, cousin, mother, I don't know, best friend, someone told you, um, taking a break, have a break with them. Yeah, Seven of Swords, the intention was not good for them. And you probably said, when you're starting to make this break with them, either love was there in the past, you probably you asking yourself, why am I making then a break? Or why I make break up or I pause this relationship if I don't feel that way? Interference. Jana, interference, big interference. And Almost like they, they were waiting that to break up this, or you know, to fall apart this connection. Give me the strength. Yeah, I think it's family, it's family, family. I think it's family. Yeah, it's done. Nine of cups, ten of uh, wands, and um, and the emperor. It's family involved, family or, I don't know. If it's a family, it could be someone very close to you or to your person. Could be also, um, it feels almost like, okay, when I know that I'm close to you, I will smile like that. Because I'm an educate, I'm an educate person. But I know because then I can go home or I don't see you anymore for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, or I don't know. Uh, you know, like, I will make my poker face because I'm an educate. You say like that? I'm an educate. I will do it. But I protect my, my, uh, my person. I protect my um, relationship. Or someone. It uh, could be also someone close to you. It could be that it's not your energy. It could be that it's the energy for your person. I don't know. You will know. Give me the four of wands. Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and wow, the King of Swords. I think that you having your back, you having their back, and they having your back, back big time. You're protecting yourself. Nine of Pentacles on the knees. I think that um, spending also some time to understand, but also spending time to um, sometimes, you know, um, by the end of the day, and you say, how was your day? Uh, what's bothering you this day? Or can we sit down? Let's discuss. Before, probably you didn't do that. Probably you went to bed on the past, met with some resentment, a rebelliousness, some, you know, and negativity. What you don't do now anymore, on the new future, you don't do it. Um, <clears throat> you say, we have to start. We have to really be very honest with each other if we want to really invest on this uh, connection, on this uh, marriage uh, investment, you know, spending time, spending time, but also invest time for this connection so we can let it grow and we are independent to everyone. Give an advice, like it, Gemini, really like it. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. I think that. Um, could be children are involved um, on this connection, but I don't know why I'm picking up that friends or or a friend, or two friends, or could be also children or a child. They open up. You or someone might here like be careful. Someone is interfering. Someone here is open up here in mind. Seven of Wands. You you're going to protect something. Could be also you protecting your child or your child or telling you, 
uh, be careful, something like that. But I see here like a reunion on, of a family. Now it's getting stronger. Gemini, hope I can help you. Thank you so much for being here. I'll come very soon with my next reading. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.